Hey, Ethans. Broke out my Conquest of Space sign here. Um, because this video is going to be about thermodynamics and uh, all the good fun stuff about that. So I figured it was appropriate considering the way I'm going to approach this one. I received a message from one of my subscribers who says, Uh... Hi King Heathen, I'm a fan of your videos and I have been a subscriber for about a year now. I've been an atheist for several years and so far I haven't found any rational evidence to prove that I should believe otherwise. Um, fast forwarding down, uh, however there has been one argument in particular that I have yet to find a suitable answer for. I'm sure you've heard it many times or slight variations of it, but for my benefit please inform me of your thoughts. The argument is that according to the second law of thermodynamics. It's okay, guys. I know. We've heard it a lot of times. Um, anything which is uh, organized will eventually become unorganized over time unless something else intervenes. I'm not a thermodynamic professor, nor do I know very much about thermodynamics, except that according to it, perpetual motion is impossible. So I've been a little stumped. All right. Your, the first problem is that you have the wrong idea of what thermodynamics is um, because you're listening to them trying to give you the definition and let's face it when have they ever understood the definitions of scientific terms uh, so what is thermodynamics well that would be a branch of physics according to the american heritage new dictionary of cultural literacy third edition copyright 2005 um, it is a branch of physics devoted to the study of heat and related phenomena the behavior of heat is governed by three laws of thermodynamics. Okay, so let's start right there. Thermodynamics is about physics. Yeah, evolution is about biology. Physics, evolution, not the same thing, but that's okay. You can you can still make this fit. It's, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, but let's just start there understanding that it's about physics and heat. So it kind of is irrelevant anyway, but it does still work in the grand scheme, uh, which is why they don't they, you know, the, the bigger picture is what the, is falling apart here. Um, so, the laws of thermodynamics. Number one, total energy of an isolated system cannot change. This is the law of conservation of energy. This is, uh, um, you know, on a grander scale, this has been changed to the law of conservation of mass energy because energy and mass can um, separate out. But in a closed system, this is the important part, the total energy of an isolated system, closed system, um, cannot change. Um, so we can accept that. Number two, heat will not flow from a cold to hot object spontaneously. Does that sound anything like evolution? Heat will not flow from a cold to hot object spontaneously. See entropy, which we will in a minute. Uh, rule number three is uh, it is impossible in a finite number of operations to produce a temperature of absolute zero. All right, let's go see entropy. This is uh, this is one of the things they like to to discuss it on in uh, in the data transmission or information theory. A measure of the loss of information in a transmitted signal or message. Okay, in other words, over time a message is going to break down, and they say you know this is one of the the, the smarter ones who know their stuff a little bit better. They use this premise as what, what's going on because of the whole information in DNA, whatever that's supposed to mean, um, saying it's supposed to break down. It does. That's what happens with inbreeding. But as long as energy is being put back into the system, because remember it has to be a closed system. Inbreeding, closed system. All right. Um, it's a whole, whole other story. Um, transmission of signal. You, you copy something. You Xerox it. Copy of the copy. Copy of the copy, copy of the copy, copy of the copy. Get the idea. This, the picture gets worse. Um, it's, uh, it's losing entropy. All right? It's breaking down. This continues to happen unless there's a closed system. Um, if we go back to this one, uh, this from uh, the uh, Random House Dictionary in 2009. Uh, thermodynamics on a uh, macroscopic scale, the function of thermodynamic variables as temperature, pressure or composition that is a measure of the energy that is not available for work during the thermodynamic process. A closed system evolves toward a state of maximum entropy. In other words, it's going to shut down, all right, in a closed system. Um, you can look up the rest of stuff if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
So, does evolution break down according to entropy and the second law of thermodynamics? All right, again, got nothing to do with heat. I don't understand why they even think this is valid, but whatever. Does a system break down? Well, let's first fully understand what we mean when we say a closed system. Your car, your car is a closed system. Um, it you know, is contained within itself, and if you run out of gas, it shuts down. It will run so long as it has power, and that power coming from the gas that it burns. Runs out of gas, it stops running. Closed system, entropy works. But now if we connected the car to a continuous fuel line, or we were able to uh, run up next to the car in, a, in another vehicle and refuel the tank every time we needed to, it would keep going. See? Not a closed system anymore. If we broaden our system so that it includes the refueling system, well, whenever we ran out of gas to refuel it, it would again shut down. Okay? You get the idea. System, we expand it you still end up with entropy. Uh, cool thing to try. Um, go to get a swing set. Pull the swing set all the way up to your chin. Let go. Stand still. It will not hit you. Okay. It's going to lose energy as it gets to the other side and when it transfers motions back the other way it's not going to come as close to you and each time it's going to get further and further away until it comes to a stop. Okay. The swing comes to a stop. Now let's look at biology. Again, not physics, but we can make this work. So um, we have evolution, which happens because of mutation, which happens because of sex. The genes come together. There is added energy to the system. We back up. We get the, uh, the you know all the animals you know having sex and doing their thing, um, providing we got enough variation so that you know that we don't end up with the inbreeding, the whole breakdown process there. Um, where are they getting their energy from? Where is the heat coming from? Well, that one's easy. The sun. The sun provides our heat. So with the sun providing our heat, uh, we have continuous flow of energy in order to keep the process going. All right. It has nothing to do with you know, being organized or unorganized or chaos or any of the other stuff that, uh, that they're throwing at you. It's about energy and the shutdown of a closed system. So let's back up. Let's back up a little bit further and let's say that, you know, let's get us to a closed system. Our solar system. Well, our sun will eventually, one day, burn out. It will supernova or, you know, pfft, it'll be gone. And biology on Earth will come to a dead freaking halt. Just like entropy says it will. Just like the second law of thermodynamics says it will in the bastardized version that they put out there to say that it's supposed to be. Okay, so, yeah, second law of thermodynamics holds up against evolution. Um, and again, the reason why they think that it doesn't is because they don't even know what the law is. But don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.